Second and goal from the two-yard line. Option. Dunn gets it to Merrill. Wide open. Touchdown. Horn Frog. which led to a touchdown opening drive second half. After that, he hasn't been able to do much from the running back position. Second and four, Thompson back to pass, gets it picked off at the 25. And that is Drew Coleman, the very athletic cornerback, and Thompson just threw it right to him. Now, I'm going to tell you something, though. Travis Day, Travis Wicks are on the football. Motion, three wide receivers. Here's Thompson. Has a receiver, and he doesn't hold on. Right in the hands of Lindy Holmes, the freshman from Dallas, Texas. He was a freshman quarterback, hurt him. The interception hurt him. And then, of course, Paul Thompson. And another fumble. And Oklahoma looks like they may have fallen back on the football. Fourth down. It's, it's, it's TCU ball either way with, no, with one timeout left. Tight in you, folks, and once again, first down. In a foot race, sprinting hard in the pocket. Fires on the left, cut inside the five-yard line. Kyle Wright running hard to the left, throws to Ryan Moore. It's first and goal, and we've got a quarterback growing up right in front of us. Boy, Dan Warner just pulled a great call out on this one. He sensed the blitz. He got... Kyle Wright outside the pocket, watch him square his shoulders, throw the ball, and Ryan Moore slides, makes the catch. The guy who had the drops last year comes up with two huge catches. This for the tie. No. Another kicking mistake for Coker in Miami. Can this be the Knowles year? The kicking game is finally going in their direction. Another bad snap. This one was low. The last one was high. To Mickey Andrews. This defense was something to watch here tonight. And this crowd really erupts. That six-game losing streak to Miami has ended. It wasn't pretty, but the Knowles will take it. And many of the players are jumping into the student section directly across from me and to my left. The players are being hoisted up there into the arms of the students, and we'll check in down below with Jack. Fake to him and throw them down this time. Both big tight ends are in there. Let's see if we see a play action. There it comes. There it goes. Bottled. Caught. Still got it. Samarja, touchdown. Second week in a row for Samarja with a touchdown catch. He stays in there. And a second down and nine. Penny straight drop this time. Fires to the corner. It's intercepted at the goal line by Zibikowski. And there's that 10-4 speed coming the other way. First turnover of the ball game, and it is costly to Michigan. Turned it over twice and turned it over on downs once. Now they just like to get the opportunity to get back there. Chad Henney going deep. Got a man wide open. Touchdown, Michigan. The freshman, Mario Manningham. Finally, they find the Notre Dame end zone. 
Here's your ball game if you're a Wolverine. And the Notre Dame cheering section will erupt here if they don't pick up this one. Penny in trouble. Fires incomplete. Notre Dame will take over on downs. That might be the last chance for Henny and the Wolverines. Yeah, Russell, they did not blitz him. He throws toward the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown. Early Doucette, who couldn't catch a pass early in the game, makes a huge catch late to give them the lead. Away from a dramatic victory in its season opener. Keller throws behind the receiver, Richardson incomplete, and the Tigers take over on downs. Three, Carpenter moves up into a gap, now you back back out, second down and nine. Got a lot of time, throws in zone, cut! Touchdown Texas! What a great play for the Horns! Vince Young comes up with a 24-yard scoring pass to Limus Swede, the X-Man. Identified who the quarterback is, Zwick in the shotgun. Takes off. Fumble, no question. Ball loose. Texas, Robson's got it to the 20-yard line. Drew Kelson knocked the ball free. There's a penalty flag. There probably is a celebration on that. Here comes Max Truck. Option to him. He'll walk it in. Die! He cross the plane. No signal down there. Melton wants it. They're con conferring. Did he get the ball across the plane of the end? Teammate from Cleveland's Glenville High School. Can they get Teddy Ginn loose? Smith. There's the safety. There's the safety with 19 seconds to go. Aaron Harris takes Troy Smith down in the end zone. One loss. Ohio State's not completely out of it, but their chances are less than 50%. Meanwhile, the horns are soaring. And the big question now remains, can they get past Oklahoma? and run the table this year and go back to the Rose Bowl. What a great football game. Whitehurst from the shotgun. Here they come. Whitehurst to the corner of the end zone. Chanty Stucky. Oh, and he was wide open. Just too far in front of him. <laughs> Nobody within 10 yards. Yeah, but he had to throw that ball when, when, he, was, when he was covered. He just ran under cover. With a possibility of overtime. Kick on the way, and it is good. Thirteen Canes. Second and goal. Toss sweep. Tyrone Moss behind blockers. He's all alone. Touchdown, Miami. So the Canes score first, and they get what they want in a touchdown. Mayhem in motion across the field. Charlie looking left. Now he's trying to run and throw. Second overtime. Miami trailing Clemson by three. Right to throw. Has time. Down the middle. And it's caught by Ryan Moore. What a big time throw and catch. A pick up of 14. They'll call it a 19-yard field goal to try to send it to a third overtime. The kick is perfect. And we're tied at 30-30. It's a tougher kick than most would think. Petty knocks it through. And we'll catch our breath. Sold about 84,000 in Death Valley. Third overtime coming up. Second and 10 in overtime, number three. Moss got an opening. Tyler Moss inside the 15. The 10 down the sideline. Touchdown. He got there on a sensational dive to the pylon. A 25 yard touchdown run. What a great run and some good blocking on the right side of that hurricane line and then the receivers downfield staying with their men.
With a second down and 10. At the Miami 25 in overtime, number three. Whiters, pressured, throws, intercepted, it's the ball game. Miami wins it on a turnover. The first of the season suffered by the Tigers, and it's the freshman Kenny Phillips. And the Hurricanes avoid an 0-2 start. And he's ready, he hits that, his pad. Tells the center, I'm ready for the ball. Stan option play, pitches it back. Teague, good skip on Teague for the winning touchdown. Touchdown scamper, breaking tackles and throwing out a stiff arm as Stanton engineers the fifth consecutive win at Notre Dame Stadium by the Michigan State. Very good on third down tonight. Blitz again. Look out. Got him. Oh, that's intentional ground. Yeah, They're calling him down. Steve Shaw says he was down. Yeah. So it'll be fourth down. The last time they came with that blitz, the same blitz, Jeremy Mincy came too far inside, and Ainge was able to get outside. This time, he took a little different angle, and Earl Everett didn't lose outside contain and was able to sack him. Back to back plays. Greg Madison and Charlie Strong said, let's go after the quarterback. They apparently will rush three and drop eight. Fourth and 24. From under center, Ainge steps up, drills it, contact, no flag. Todd McCullough, the senior, the fifth-year linebacker, was in good coverage. Philip Fulmer against first-year SEC coaches coming into this game had won 13 games and lost only three. Those three were Nick Saban. Rick runs up. Is it's going to make the play, and they don't have to try to guess which guy that's going to be. On fourth down, here's Ainge. That one tipped incomplete. Goes over on downs. It was D. Webb. It's been a costly victory for these guys, Absolutely. though. Ray McDonald. We don't know the severity of the right knee. Andre Caldwell with a right leg injury. Both out with injuries. And there's Ray McDonald on crutches. But even without Ray McDonald, the Florida defense did what they had to do. Their front seven defended the run extremely well, held Tennessee to well under over or under 100 yards. And their pass defense, that was the big question. Could Tennessee beat their man coverage? The answer was an emphatic no tonight. You see Urban Meyer, you think he's enthusiastic on the sidelines? Dan Mullen, the offensive coordinator, said, I'm the calm one. I'm here to just uh, take care of the head coach. There's a penalty flag down. Yep. I think they've got offsides or something. Uh, yeah, decline. Penalty is declined. Run the clock. clock. starts. <laughs> Steve Shaw showing the wisdom of the ages. Philip Fulmer. They won the last two here, not to be denied. It was 7-7 at the half. Big second half for the Gators of Florida. Here it is, third and eight out of the eye. Johnson to throw, sets up a screen. Picked off at the 48 by Jerron Simpson. And I got to think you got to keep it on the ground. I do. I think you keep it on the ground. Even if you don't score, you eat that clock up. But they'll throw it. Oh. To wide open, D.J. Hall, his second touchdown catch today. Nobody was within a quarter mile of D.J. Hall. I don't know what happened on that play. Hall was out there all by himself. I just looked up. I thought, where in the world's world throwing to? He saw it come off the line. He didn't. He just kept it quiet. In the lone back. Oh, 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 o
it short for Calhoun. He has the first down. He's down at the five-yard line. Left to the left is Stockwell. Quarterback draw. By him to get down to the five and then the quarterback draw. The win and a Wilson win against Michigan. Henny throws caught. Avad out to the 45. All the way back at the 34. Really need to score a touchdown. The pass caught by Ecker, then dropped. He was trying to lateral it. One second to go. Left to accomplish. He could check this one off the list. If they can defend this play. Henny slips and falls. Lost the football. Picked up by Shaughnessy and run back, but they're going to say Henny. The pass ball is down, and he got it. We are tied. At one time, Elishens left in the ball game, and they were going to run a little reverse. Now Jamarcus Russell going to throw, and he had him open and missed him. Now that stops the clock. Seconds left in regulation looks gonna go deep over the middle and it is intercepted at the 46 yard line out of the, the huddle and they come out sprinting they got a four wide receiver set 17.7 seconds left we are tied at 24 russell sets deep in the pocket under pressure and he's sacked at the 30 foot sprinter and tennessee has two men over on that side of the field to take a look at him russell Sprinting out, and here comes the Hail Mary. He's going to throw this thing all the way to the end zone. It is tipped and intercepted by Tennessee. He won the toss. They elected to go on defense first. And we will see Jamarcus Russell and company going on offense from their own 25-yard line. A die has five, has ten, counted off at about 12 yards. And he got over half to pick up the first down. We're in overtime, tied at 24 apiece. Skyler Green right there in that slot is a critical guy. Run after the catch. Russell sets, steps up. Here comes pressure. Drills it. It is incomplete in the end zone. And right now, if you're LSU, and big Jesse Maharona coming up that middle on you. 31 yards is the field goal attempt. This is Colt David. The kick. He got it. I mean, it Woo! barely. Just barely. Clausen throws it out of the backfield. Broken tackle. Riggs takes it up the field. He's going to wind up with C trying to pick up the touchdown to win it and head back to Knoxville. Draw play. Comes to the left. 15 at the 10 and shoved out of bounds on the near sideline. At That's Faithman in motion. And they'll go with the running play. Wins right up the middle. Breaks big hole inside the five. And he's down to the three. And I mean a hush has come over at the half-yard line. First overtime. LSU 27. Tennessee 24. And the Volunteers on the lip of the cup. Clawson gives it to Riggs. Left side. Touchdown, Tennessee. And the Volunteers have come from out of nowhere to win this game in overtime. Make it 27. Gutierrez, the backup quarterback, checking to see if he's ready. Off to the right. He slipped it to the right. He missed it. Seconds to go as Rebus slipped it to the right. Overtime. Goss missed one from the left hash. This a better angle for him. Right over the top of the uh, nope. no good. Yep. It didn't look good as it approached the upright. Nope. And Goss has missed. All would end it. Against the soft corner. Avon driven out of bounds. At the 19-yard line, but is the holder for the game. He's got it. Michigan wins for the second year in a row in overtime. And hail to the victors, loud and clear, for Lloyd Carr and a struggling Michigan team. Injury last year, off to a good start in 2005. Play fake, Coyle, the senior. Wants to go deep for Pro Pro, who's down there. He's got it, and he is 
gone. No flags. And is tight to the right. Now that's McLean in motion. Good block by Darby Coyle. Got a man. Touchdown, Alabama. And you mentioned the block by Darby. He picked up the outside blitz perfectly, and Brody Coyle was able to stay right in the pocket and make the throw. With 3.20.38 to play, Arizona State's ball. They trail by three points. Sam Keller goes down the middle. Intercepted on the ricochet. Kevin Ellison comes up with a football when it bounced off the hands. Points. Lindale White up the middle to the outside. Foot race to the corner. It's touchdown. He got flagged for the dive into the end zone when uh, they scored. They're coming out to start the second half, but this time, no flag. Point six per return. And the return is on all the way. Another Colquitt nice booms it. Flowers at the 46. There he goes. One man to beat. Thomas Flowers. The putter can't take him down. Wow. Touchdown, Georgia. Is that what you meant by very dangerous? <laughs> Three down line and everyone else spread deep trying to cover pass lanes. Ayers pass picked off at the 22 yard line by Brown. Has a convoy in front of him. In the red zone. Four for four tonight. Trying to make it five for five, and they do. And guess who? And the clock has zeros. A fitting ending. Maury Strew has helped Carl Durrell's team. Remain undefeated. They go to 5-0. and oh. Ocean. Here comes pressure. Smith is hit and sacked. The ball is loose, and it's recovered by Ohio State. Tamba Hali with the hit. And the celebration is beginning down on the field. <laughs> what a scene. difference against this defense. Nice Wanger snaps it back. Three-man rush. They drop eight. Jamarcus Russell has whoa wide open. Oh my goodness. Dwayne Bow. Toss. A die. Five-yard line. Down at the three. Great block in there by Brian Johnson, number seven. Give it to him again. And they will. He tries to bounce it to the outside. Touchdown, Tigers. And they reclaim the lead. Let's see. Leak on third down. Lateral, hook and lateral. Gavin Dickey. He was down, I think. It's picked up by Cameron Vaughn. And the down. ball is ruled down by one official the other says okay but the umpire says ball down at the 29 and this will probably give florida well no they won't get another play because they can't stop the clock game over the game is over lsu has won there is no touchdown urban meyer and les miles
receivers, including Breston in the slot to the near side. Final play at Michigan Stadium. Fourth down, one second left. Michigan trailing by four. Henny fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Manningham! Michigan wins! from this game. This place is going to erupt in 56 seconds if the Knowles can't get it in the end zone. Pass long over the middle. It is intercepted at the 45-yard line. Tony Franklin. Pressure. Watch Ahmad Brooks, number 34, the linebacker, come around on the twist stunt. Makes Drew Weatherford step up and throw the ball and release the ball high. And Tony Franklin, 1995. They do it again, Ron, in 2005. Unbelievable. Drew Lane, a senior, will snap it. Matt Miller, a senior, will hold it. Jamie Christensen will kick it. For the lead. Now what Mike Shule is telling him is, hey, you still got to kick off. We've got to run down and cover a kick. And this kick right here important. Lucas Taylor returned the last one out to the 50-yard line. They've got to cover this kick effectively. Christensen, it will be taken by Taylor, three yards deep to the 10, and cut down at the 22. Two fouls on the play, during the return, holding the 28 of the receiving team. We have a dead ball foul, personal foul against Tennessee. Half the distance to the goal will be first down. Ains deep. Rainbow pass. D'Amico Lyons intercepts. Perfect ending. Absolutely picture-perfect ending. The All-American, academic and physical All-American with the interception. And Alabama's dream is still alive. Charles slips out as a receiver. Young's got a wide open touchdown. Pittman to the end zone. Won't get him. 75 yards. The route is underway. It's the holder, the backup quarterback. Petty, the snapper, plenty of distance. And he's good. We're tied with 140 to play. A season long under 35 seconds. They're going to go with the running play. And here's Irons. Tries to cut it back down the sideline, 45-40. And he gets out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Right attempt. It would eclipse his old mark by six yards. And you have to think LSU will call timeout. They didn't get it. And here's the kick. Ball is down. He's got the distance. And it is no good. Wide to the left. And LSU's got to take it to the three-and-a-half-yard line. Russell, good protection, looking, still looking, now rolls to his right. Throws it back, and it is in a 
it out of the hands of early Doucette. And there's a touchdown, and he drops it. That's two time period. Clock again winding down. Long enough, and he got it. So LSU goes on top three points, 20 to 17, and he got the 34 yard of the 24 yard line, meaning a 34 yard attempt. Near hash mark. Ball is down. Got plenty of distance. And oh. He hit the upright. He hit the upright. And the LSU Tigers have just won what will be classified as the upright game. <laughs> Two wide left, one wide right. Quarterback keeper again. And Tereshinsky's going to be facing a fourth and 12. Jarvis Moss, what a play. And the clock is rolling. It's fourth down play. Eye formation, tight end in the game. See what Florida plays. There's the play fake and the blitz. Tereshinsky throws it up incomplete. He heaved the ball as he was going down. And it was number 57, Jeremy Mincy. Fourth and 11. No. To win the football game today. Florida's going to win it for the 14th time in the last 16 years. And the player of the game, season high, 108 yards, 19 carries, an average of just under six per career high, both carries and yards. Number 21 had a costly bobble at the end of the mm -hmm. first half that uh, had they held on to the ball going in would have given them a 21 to three lead. But for Joe Tereshinsky, the third, and the Georgia Bulldogs, the undefeated season comes to a close. Mark Rick, Urban Meyer. The exchange of pleasant trees at midfield. Once again, he's showing his credentials. One of the top tight ends in the country. First he says in the 12, Taylor bounces to the outside. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Texas. With 2.51 to go. It is good. This one reminiscent of the old days when Spurry Pearl route in the middle of the field. Fourth and five. Clausen underneath. It is broken up by Co Simpson. Intended for Brett Smith and Simpson, the brilliant safety timed it perfectly. Gamecock fans who have made the trip celebrate, but still. Second and 11. On the ground with Davis, lots of running room. First down, and then tackled by Jonathan Wade, but a huge first down to the... How soon they forget. Yep. But you'd have to say, Mike, Tennessee is the most disappointing team in the country. Given top five preseason rankings to be three and four. Steve Spurrier with the first signature win of his tenure at South Carolina. And it comes against the familiar foe, the Tennessee Volunteers. And their coach, Philip Fulmer. He's come into the stadium and won as the head coach of Duke, of Florida, and now of South Carolina. Two receivers each side this time. Rush put on again by the ends, cutting back into the middle. Ball's intercepted. Up to the 40. Back into midfield territory, down the line to the 40-yard line. Trying to find open room at the 30, gets hauled down, football goes flying away. A.J. Davis on the interception. And the only jerseys down there were white. There were two on that pass who had a chance to haul it in. Yeah. For the Seminoles, because right now, to be brutally honest, they're on the edge, they're on the brink. In the red zone, coming in 20 out of 24 for the Wolfpack. Stone throws it to him. 
receivers, and Anthony Hill, the sophomore, hauls it in. How about this? Veteran back there, junior kicker. Yep. He's going to run it to the corner. Wait and step out of bounds. Took as much time as he could get off the clock. And then stepped out of bounds. Killed nine seconds. Gave up two points. But get some room. Down and 11. Weatherford back again. Throwing down the middle. That's going to be intercepted. Ball game is going to be over. Carried back. Garland Heath. Heath down the sideline. Slips and falls on the wolf pack. Jumping up and down on the far sideline as they're going to do it again. They are the only team in the ACC to beat Florida State here in Tallahassee. They are going to do it again with nine seconds left on the clock. It's the fourth time he's beaten Bobby Bowden. You know, Drew Weatherford is just a freshman. And this is uncharacteristic of him, but he never looked comfortable in the pocket today. There, there was a sense of urgency. He was really trying to hurry and a smart play at the end just to get down and let the clock go. Don't step out of bounds here. Boy, Heath makes the pick. Now watch this. This is a smart play. He sees, all right, I'm going to be tackled, and he gets down. Three interceptions all coming in the second half against Drew Weatherford. A.J. Davis had two. Heath gets that one. And a very big win for the Wolfpack as they come in here again and pull an upset. And Bobby Bowden's team is going to move on to the ACC first ever championship game. But not the way he wanted to do it, though. Not the way he wanted to do it. Third down. They're going to take it all the way out to the 21-yard line. Vic under pressure. Hit. Is going to be tackled at the end zone. Lost the football. It is touchdown Miami. Good protection this time. Cutler throws for another first down. Eric Davis breaks free. Eric Davis down to the six-yard line. Jarvis Herring made the tackle. 31 yards by seven. Cutler zings line. Touchdown! Earl Bennett! Back. Jennings again. Powers down! Touchdown! Bobby Johnson, an offensive coordinator, Ted Kane, with a terrific call, surprising Florida with the run. Wait, throws short, caught, touchdown, Ted Jackson. Pull up a chair and enjoy it. It's been a treat throughout. Vanderbilt in Florida. Leak locks it. Up the grabs, and it is caught. Touchdown. Jamel Cornelius. Looked like Andrew Pace was in position to knock it down at the very least, but couldn't do it. It's a 16-yard touchdown. In Nashville, they've lost 14 in a row to Florida. They haven't been a ranked team since 1992. Cutler. Zings one into traffic. Is it intercepted? Yes! By Reggie Lewis. And Florida wins. Brandon Cox. Stepping up, throws, got a man, and there he is, a rubber should do, and he's loose. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Auburn. Are you kidding me? Tremendous forward, though. Bobby. On fourth down. When the offensive team fumbles the ball and the ball goes forward, in this case it went in the end zone, we bring the ball back to the spot it's of the fumble. It's first down. Nine. Juan is 15 up 17. And you see he's right in the middle of the field. And the operation, the snapper, the holder, to put yourself in the helmet right now and pretend you're John Vaughn. How about the pressure, even though it's basically an extra point? Here comes the extra point, what it looks like, but it's the field goal and it's the win.
It would appear it is the win. We still got six seconds left on the clock, but the Auburn Tigers go back on top, and a flag is more. Shockley. Clock has run out. Still looking. Drills it. Has it complete. Massaquai, and this one is over. The Auburn Tigers have just won again here at Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia. This time by one point. 31. Up quarterback is the holder. For the lead. Jackson has it on the way. Wide right. Just inside, Jamie Christensen, one of two. This is from 34 yards out. Matt Miller, high snap, but he gets it down. The kick is up. Kick is good. Here's Russell. Nobody open. Fires it in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. LSU is one. Dwayne Bow. And once again, it came off the scramble. Here's the punt. Fair catch called for by Chad Jackson at the 24-yard line. One minute to play. Six. Legal participation, 12 men on the field, gets the defense. Penalty's 15 yards from the previous spot. That's your ball game. And then to Kentucky next week for that to happen. That is the ball game. The South Carolina Gamecocks have given Steve Spurrier his first victory as a head coach against his alma mater, where he won a Heisman in 1966 in a national championship in 1996. And the Carolina fans are going crazy in williams Bryce Stadium. It's down and 10. The offensive line has done a great job. Smith dances away from trouble. On the run! Caught by Gonzalez! Inside the five-yard line! Gonzalez may have made the biggest catch of the year for the Buckeyes. 26 yards. Smith is up under center. There's Pittman. Banging touchdown. But there's 24 seconds up on the clock. The Buckeye sideline explodes. Now with the wind at the back, they need Houston, and they don't need a celebration penalty. That is the one thing they've got to avoid here. Yeah, the other one hurt them badly, and this time they have to go for two to try to get it to 27-21, make it a six-point play. So Troy Smith up under center. Looking for the draw, and now the receiver, and broken up. And three wide for Henney. He's got time. We'll take the sideline. He's got to get out of bounds. Cannot. The clock is running. And the final seconds. Yep. It's a the mistake. Buckeyes are going home with the W. Jim Trussell is 4-1 and one against Lloyd Carr, who goes across to congratulate him. Greg Olson lined up out at wide. So here we go, the shotgun formation. Sets deep in the pocket, going for the end zone. There's the tight end. It is intercepted. Georgia Tech with the pickoff. Dennis Davis and the celebration across the way has begun. A minute and 38 seconds left. And the number three team in the country is about to go down in their own backyard. Another play. Reggie Ball. Stretches it out. Going to go down. And three seconds down to two. He is 12 of 14 for 115 yards. Irons. Left side. He was a fake. It's a touchdown. Cole Bennett, the backup tight end. Beautiful job of play faking. That's another talent that Cox has. Race CSI Miami and 48 hours mystery. The onside kick. Oh boy. <laughs> that was a little sloppily played. Got to the to the last line of defense there. 
couple of trustees, the athletic director. The plane was owned by Bobby Louder. They went to try and ask Bobby Petrino if he would come here and replace Tommy Tuberville. That obviously did not happen, and Tommy Tuberville is getting another shower as the Auburn Tigers defeat Alabama for the fourth consecutive year. A 10-yard return after Michael Griffin put the block on. And this is that swinging gate. They're just going to come up there and blast it. On first down, play fake. Latz goes out. The pass goes deep. And it is caught at the two-yard line. What a throw. Chad Jackson. Old game stats now count. Touchdown, Florida. Marcus Manson, final 34-7. Bobby Bowden's 32nd venture into this game. Urban Myers first for Tracy Wilson, Todd Blackledge, Bert Lundquist. See you next week. And Ostrander looking for somebody to catch him. Steps away from the pressure, goes deep down the sidelines, has a man. He's behind the defender. Down the sideline goes Mark Bradford. He's out of bounds. He didn't get there. At 159, he tumbled out of bounds just at the five-yard line. Here you might have a crease close to the goal line, but it closed. Brown made the tackle. Now here we go. Three plays to score. Touchdown. Traverso caught it. Just a great job of play calling by Walt Harris and execution by the quarterback Ostrander and his big tight end Traverso. Very simple route. He just went in and made contact with Corey Mays, pivoted away, and received the strike from the quarterback. To win right here. Right down the pipe. So on this side with Stover, the two six five receivers. Quinn back, looking around, gets it away. Ball is caught by Shelton, running behind the two lanky guys. He's pushed out of bounds. Schmarza, I'm sorry, not Shelton. Schmarza. The ball game right now. He's got some speed. Ball is thrown on a slant to Schmarza, and Jeff is going to take it down to about the 33 yard line. Shelton in the mix at the top of the screen. Back goes Quinn. No pressure. Luke to Stovall. He's got it. Penalty flag goes down. That's it. A fear it's going to be called against rushing, trying to fight off the bigger man. Walker. Touchdown. Touchdown. Did he make it? Yes. Darius Walker takes it into the end zone. Quinn is in the shotgun with Walker back there with him. Go to Walker. Runs it in. Made it. They snapped the ball to Darius Walker. He went in on touch for the two-point conversion. And a seven-point lead for Notre Dame at 55 seconds to play. That's right. On the clock, the final play of the game for Stanford is returned, I suspect. Ostrander's in trouble. They're all over him, and they suck him back at the 10-yard line, and it's done. One second remaining, and Notre Dame leads it 38-31. seconds now he finally finds white wide open and Lindale dives for the goal line and touchdown yes 
Dorsey is just toying with the Bruins now. And Leonard has straightened his game out with a couple of brilliant plays back to back to his tailback, Glendale White. It's Young still in there. Hands it off to Ball Charles. Charles off the tackle and another on his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Six yards for Jamal Charles and the Longhorns add to their lead 62 to 3. Craig Lumpkin is on the uh, offensive backfield now. Here's a play fake. Shockley going deep. He's got a man open. Way downfield. Caught. Mohammed Massacre. The freshman from Charlotte. No, it's Sean Bailey. Sean Bailey instead of Massaquah. 7-0, Bulldogs. Shockley pulls up, goes right side, Bailey's open. Got it! Touchdown, Georgia! That's right now on the right side. Play fake. Shockley darts to his left, to the five. Inside the goal line, touchdown, Georgia. They both have been great leaders and enjoyed tremendous success in their final season. Could be the final play of the game. Justin Vincent around the right side. Two thousand and five SEC champions, DJ Shockley and the Georgia Bulldogs, bound for a BCS game, the Sugar Bowl, which will be played in Atlanta. Check to the left and come back to Davis. Emptied out the backfield. Four-man rush. Final seconds. Congratulations to Bobby Bowden and that entire coaching staff. There come the T-shirts. They are indeed. Interesting in the fact that they have that much confidence in their defense to hold down this man, Reggie Bush, and this SC offense. Now it's put up time. They kick it to him. Two yards, three yards deep in the end zone. He's coming. He gets to the 10. He gets to the 12. And down he goes. Brought down by Robert Killebrew. Injury and Malone can just kill it sometimes. Sometimes he outkicks the coverage. Texas will get good field position out of this one. The reception was made at about the 43. Fumble! Texas man left low. Trojans have it. The Trojans get the football. Kirkman comes back to help him. Liner drops the throw. Throws it down the sidelines. Kirkman. And he makes the catch at the Texas six-yard line. They're going to run it with White. And Lindell walks in. Fred Matua and Brandon Hancock laid 
powerful blocks to open the door for Lindale White. And that's Dominique Bird, the tight end. Mason, he's a very fast guy, and sometimes he goes deep. They drop it off, got a little screen action set up for Bush. Oh, look out! Ball fumble! Texas has got it! Shown up tonight already. And Vince Young, back to throw, has a lot of daylight in front of him, and he takes off. Uh, one nut better. And the guards and center doing pretty good, too. Not bad. Sunline's a great play. Ball is thrown over here to this side to David Thomas again. Thomas uh, goes down, almost lost the ball himself. But it's, all, it's first and five. Young looking. They chase him out. And he throws back across the field. Pass is complete to Brian Carter. Carter will be inside the 30, down to the 27. From the SC 27, Young drops back, takes off, up the middle. He's finally caught at the 15-yard line by Darnell Bing. Ball's loose. Texas is going to get it back. Wow, Trojans ran right over the top of it. Austin looking around. Goes down the middle, and it is incomplete. Uh, pretty good size. And he's been steady, and he's worked on that leg, and he's got enough leg on this one, and it's good. First pass here for those players. They win championship for defense. Ball thrown for Smith. Williams is in uh, at tackle, has been at tackle for USC, and there's your first down, down to the 40-yard line. <laughs> Look at this. Boy, he just turned on the tips, didn't he? Brandon Hancock banging away, and Lindale White right in his wake, and that's the first down. Now for USC. Line it back, lets it go, and it's in the corner, and it is intercepted or knocked away by Michael Griffin. He didn't pick it, I guess. Well, he caught it. I don't think he got his feet in bounds, though, Keith. Hit the pylon. The pylon's knocked over. They're going to have to take another look at this, perhaps. You can see Smith is open for a short time. There comes Griffin. That's an interception, folks. He had one. Yeah. We're going to go out and start moving the ball. On second down and three, Young throws to the sidelines. Pass is caught up at the 42. Move your change. First down, Texas. Keeps it, sets the throw, gets it off in a hurry. Just got a little quick pop. And the ball is thrown up to the 45, and the reception by David Thomas, the tight end, rolls close to a first down. Young pitches it outside on an option, and it works with Selvin Young. This possession started back on the 20-yard line. Young's pass thrown to the outside, goes to the tight end, Thomas again. 5.20 to go in the first half. Almost got him behind the line of scrimmage, but it is Jamal Charles, the speedster, who takes it inside the Trojan 25. First down, Texas. Young's got it, going to run it. Lost the ball. Pitched it out. He pitched it out. Touchdown, and Texas. touchdown to Selvin Young. I believe they're not reviewing this one. This is huge. Kick is good. No, kick is not good. Nope, missed Sorry. it wide right. Wide out. Working out of the spread. Young's pass thrown down the middle. It goes to the tight end, Thomas. And David Thomas will take it down to the 30-yard line, and it's first down, Texas. The ball is gone. And he hands it this time to Taylor, and Taylor's got the ball, got daylight, and touchdown, Texas! That caused the ball to come loose like that. I thought he had it. But then he did. He had possession when he hit the ground. But anyway, here's uh, the first down. Pick Well, he's got plenty of time. Drills the ball down inside the 40-yard line. Going to the clubhouse at halftime. They feel better about themselves, I'm sure. Leinert's in trouble. Takes off. A lot of room. Now finally tracked down at about the 25. If they want a touchdown. Uh, 
Find it again. Throws inside. Ball to Bush. And Reggie. Two seconds to play in the first half. Bush is on this side. Line it sacked. Back at the 21 by Ocam. One, two, three, four, five, six of them up there. Line it steps away, falls down. Here. And Pitch. here you figure it's going to be low when he kicks it from this distance, but he got it off. And he made it. Dominique Bird's been quiet tonight. And with him in motion there, line it straight back, gets it away, gets his first down as he throws to Brandon Hadcock, the fullback, out of the backfield. Four man front to Texas. Ball goes. Line it dropping back, throws down the middle. Jarrett's got it. And Dwayne Jarrett will take it down to about the 22 yard line before Terrell Brown can ride him down. Down and five. Ball is on the Texas 17 yard line. They're trailing by six points. Ball is handed off to Lindale White. He shakes off Kepler Runner, goes for the corner of the end zone, and finally got him. Michael Griffin got down around his feet, pinned on what happened here tonight. The Trojans right now get it back to White, and he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown. Down and three. This is Charles. Cuts it back in traffic. Finds a crease. Got a fine run. Running right. Got a block. Got a big block from Pittman over there and runs a, a big play for Texas all the way down to the 35 yard line. Billy Pittman. Throwing down the middle. Got it. It's Lima Swede. And that's another Texas first down. Trojan staying with that four man front. Reaches for it. Touchdown. Minor rolls it out. Throws complete to Dominique Bird. And the big old tight end did not go down. Completes the pass for another first down. It goes to Fred Davis. First time Fred's seen the ball tonight. Going to do it again down the middle. Jerry couldn't get by that last man. A sure tackle by Michael Griffin to take him down at about the 21. The deep back. Big play here, folks. Goes to White. Runs up the middle. That'll do it. Touchdown. No pressure. Ball thrown and good. Catch is made by David Thomas. Young wants to throw. Going to take off. Look out. All the way to the 20-yard line before Keith Rivers can bring him down with help from Darnell Bing. Throws it back across the field. The tackle is made with the reception right about the 14-yard line. Missed that one. That line it. Quick drop, quick pass. Pass is caught by Dwayne Jarrett. So Jarrett becomes the money man in the field. Bush is outside as a wideout to the top of your picture. And the ball goes to Lindale White. There's your first down. Big guy still in there. He gets it. Lindale White inside the 30-yard line to the 26. Deep back. He gets it. Goes to the outside with it. Oh, it's around the corner. Touchdown. And Young looking around. Throws to the sideline. Hook. And out of bounds about the 44. They are good. Ouch. Ball completed down the middle. And it is a first down. Trying to answer. They're down by eight points. 
Ball is handed off to Selden Young. And Young will get the first down. Young's got it. He won't get it. Fumble to the front of. Did he turn it over? Go from 31 yards. Same hash mark, too. Wide right. Yep. That's why. It's inside. Liner gets it away. Pass is complete to the fullback Kirkman. There's a penalty flag back at the 10 yard line as you're up in the passer. Liner going for it. Jarrett. Touchdown. Six fifteen. That thrown Quan Cosby. He caught it on his knees. Go after him somewhere between here and the goal line. Just, he just shot it. Yeah, he's afforded the time. Trojans going after him. Ball is thrown at the first down. Four has got six yards on that little short pass. Young slips a little, coming back. There's daylight. Here he goes. Touchdown. Little roll out from that. Now throws it. Coming back to the ball. He's in there. He's the power back. He gets it. He didn't get it. Oh. He gets it, meaning he got the ball. That official right there is marking the ball. And he's marking it short of the first down. Watch coming again. They pick him up. He throws to the sidelines. The pass is completed, but it is short of the first down. That's Juan Cosby. And what do they say? Now, during the play, incidental five-yard face mask, the number 20 defense. The five-yard penalty results in a first down. Yep. They get seven seconds back. Young's going to run with it. Oh, he stepped right through a tackle. My gosh, he just stepped right through the hands of Colin Ashton. Defensive player, they're going to lose. Thrown short underneath. There's a man just wide open, Brian Carter. Ship on the line right here. He's going for the corner. He's got it. Vince Young scores. As we said, Keith, you can have the perfect defense called. You can force him out of the pocket, but you're not going to beat him. 4 2. Runs it. And made it. Coming hard. Leinert shoves it ahead to Bush. Got a block. Goes down and out of bounds. Stopping the clock at eight seconds. Very nice. Leinert runs away from the pressure. Now he's got to throw it. And throws it high and out of bounds. And the game is over. Texas has defeated Southern California 41 to 38 to win the national championship of college football.